Hey there, just a uh, cheaply made video before I head out, or I need to carve out the area I normally do here, and shave my head and other stuff, but I mean, before I head out though, um, I just wanted to make a quick video. The Emo Emu made a comment on my last video that I thought, it, it really got me thinking about something that I hadn't really considered before. He or she said, Personally, I think the current generation of young people are lacking an identity. They have little left to actually rebel against, so they try to manufacture struggles like we see at colleges now. They're just bland and naive. So they try to dress up like that will make them more interesting or give them some sort of direction. This might also be a part of why there's a growing resistance towards uh, meritocracy. It becomes less appealing for people who have nothing to offer. The clothes are just a symptom. In some of my videos in the past, I, had, I was asking the question, what is so important about cultural heritage and people trying to, to defend some sort of cultural heritage? Why do people need a cultural heritage? Why can't people just be themselves? Well, hmm, a hair. Um, what we're seeing at the colleges, what we're seeing with social justice warriors, what we're seeing all over the place in that regard is exactly why people need to have people need to be able need, bleh, people need to be able to connect with some sort of cultural heritage why people need the tribalist element to connect with. What we're seeing is what happens when they don't have that. It, it, just, it, it just makes sense now. Now maybe this is a temporary thing that's making sense. Maybe someone will bring something up that will show, oh, wait a minute, that doesn't exactly make sense either because of this and this and this. And I could change my views again, but I find this very fascinating. Um, so, I mean, does this mean that we are people? So many people are weak-willed that people don't know who they are unless they can connect to some sort of uh, tribalist something or other. It might mean that. It seems that. Um. I've went through a number of things in my life to get to the point where I'm at now where I've felt that I don't need that, but when I was in my 20s, my tribe was the gay community. Even though I, for so long I felt I didn't really fit, but that was still my tribe. So, you know, what happens when we don't have that anymore? Well, we're going to try to defend anyone else's tribe while we feel that we don't have one. Which is where the social justice warrior thing comes into place. Which is where that idea of uh, all races have the, th there's this concept of all races have the uh, inherent right and, and they should celebrate their cultural heritage except white people. And that all forms of uh, nationalism are bad. You know, I, I have, I don't like 
looking at what can happen with nationalism. But what happens when we don't have any pride in where we live? When we don't have any pride in our system of laws, even though it's got some flaws? What happens when we don't have pride, take pride in the fact that we're able to live like we do? How can we survive if all this manufactured outrage at so many things people are being outraged about? How, how long can we survive with, this, with that sort of mindset being front and center? It's a curious thing. It's a very curious thing. So as much as I would like to think that cultural identity shouldn't be important, well, there's lots of shoulds and shouldn'ts and all of that, but it seems we're seeing what happens when we lose our cultural identity. Now, I mean, I know that there's other things involved in this. Um, There's there are some political political things involved in this, and it's uh, it's why the meritocracy is being looked down upon now, where people don't even feel they have to be good at something or be talented at something to be selected for something, and some of this I I think would go into. Uh, the damage that social media has caused. Yes, I just said that social media has caused damage. Because I think it has. Things that are unimportant, we make important. Things that are actually important, we make unimportant. We've lost our We're, we're losing our ability to... Wow, it's gotten darker. That's weird. Um, we've lost our ability to differentiate between what's important and what isn't. We've become outraged at things that don't mean jack shit. Now I say social media, but I also have to blame regular media as well. But regular media is taking cues from social media as far as, I mean, because there's all this demographical data that places like Facebook gather and sell about us. So, regular media bases what uh, it thinks we find important on, on that kind of data that's gathered. I don't know, it's quite a complex situation, but the things that Emo Emu said at, at, in his or her comment make me really wonder whether or not we should be 
shoving forth what we've been shoving forth, this idea that we shouldn't Uh, that, that people shouldn't focus on some sort of importance of a cultural identity when this kind of shit we're seeing is a result of not having that. People are going to grasp at whatever they can. Because it seems there's no way to really get rid of tribalism. We can wish all we want, but it's going to be there. So it seems we should pick and choose tribes that aren't quite as harmful, you know? Anyway. <laughs>